Hi. So I'm in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm sketching, I'm working on my design for the Australian Chainsaw Carving Championship, which is coming up next week. It'll be at Sky High Resort on Mount Dandenong, uh, January 19th through the 23rd. I'll be competing against nine other carvers, I believe, from Australia, Canada, Japan, also the US. I feel much more prepared this year. Got a ton of research. Might notice a theme. And then the beauty. And she knows Jolene. I just like, I don't know, her look for this piece, I think. I want it to be really feminine and I want there to be a lot of movement and I want it to be pretty and I think her face is kind of a great source of inspiration for that. So then joyful. Um, I sketched out the body based on sort of some uh, one of some of my research before I left and then I made a bunch of copies kind of like those fashion design like coloring book type things you can buy for your kids. Um, so I made that shape. I also um, made it a lot bigger so it can actually go up against the log and act as a template. So I've got a template this year, which I'm excited about. Um, I just need to finalize the flow of the clothing and hair, and uh, then I can sketch that onto the big one. On Monday, before the event, I'm got to get to Mount Dandenong because we're going to do the log draw. So for chainsaw carving events, you go and you pull a number, if someone pulls a number, and then that determines what log you get. Um, it's nice and fair, but it sometimes it works in your favor and sometimes you get like the shittiest piece of wood that's got a big rotten hole in it and then you're kind of limited to what you can do. Hope for the best. Hope for luck. For most of the day I just walked around Melbourne and I went shopping and I stopped at some coffee shops. I love this city because um, it just sort of is packed full of life and activity and people are just, there's so many people today. It's beautiful out. All right, okay. It's winter in the U.S. and so coming to Australia and getting to enjoy the summer is really nice. I mean, I'm spoiled in Texas already, but this is really beautiful. So the whole city is just full of people and everyone's smiling and laughing and uh, everyone's shopping and hanging out. There's live music everywhere, um, mostly like buskers. So just really cool acts. And there's some acrobatic acts that I saw kind of on the streets, street art everywhere. And the thing I really love about Melbourne that's so unique is that all the alleyways, not all of them, but a lot of them are either covered in street art or they have, they're crammed full of little shops and bars and restaurants and everyone's just sort of like crammed in alleyways and there's like balconies with people hanging out on the balconies over you. It's really interesting. Um, I like it here. In certain parts of town, everything is so artistic and really hip, you know? So if you like that kind of thing, definitely check out Melbourne. Uh, this morning I went to the National Gallery of Victoria, which is this sort of central art hub, um, and they had an Andy Warhol exhibition, and I don't know how to say the name, but Ai Weiwei, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, so, and I found actually the Ai Weiwei's work, if I'm saying that right, um, I found myself a lot more connected to it, and maybe because a lot of it was wood. So some really interesting like furniture pieces where everything was sort of fused together and like with logs and things coming through it. And then, um, but he experimented a lot with materials, which I appreciate any artist who does that and isn't like locked down to one material. There was this one really amazing installation that I thought was a really cool piece of public art. It was just these giant balloons with two fans on opposing sides and, the, and they were filled with helium, but I think they must have had maybe oxygen mixed in because they were kind of just you know when like a mylar balloon gets a little bit old and so it's like not quite at the ceiling but it's sort of just in the middle of the room. Two opposing fans and then people just running through it and like kids bouncing up the balloons and everything. So it's cool because this piece of art that is moving, it's dynamic and then there's people walking through it and they're allowed to touch things which I love anything that you're allowed to touch. So um, very cool installation. It's nice to see Andy Warhol because you know I mean it's an artist that I actually know and I, I like a lot of his ideas about art. Though I, I'm, I don't really don't really respond to his work personally. I mean, I, I think I can see how it was important in history, but not really my thing so much. But it was good to see. Um, but yeah, Ai Weiwei, I think is how you say it. His work I found really inspiring. I will see you later. Wish me luck in the competition. Thanks.